as a web developer you might have multiple skills and you can qualify for multiple positions but what happens when you want to apply to a job do you gotta go in and create a new portfolio for each one of them well today we're gonna answer that and that was a great question that we had from one of our subscribers and we're gonna check it out right now okay this is what Rafael said today he said sub Joe I got a question regarding portfolios and the paths for the courses I am working on the web administrator course currently and plan to move to the email developer course after but require portfolios so when I get the email developer how would I be able to have multiple portfolio websites will I have to pay for each one every single time for both portfolios and websites and the answer is no you just have one portfolio guys always remember that this is all web development okay it doesn't matter if you're doing full stack development with node.js or you're doing php or you're doing wordpress or you're doing shopify or you're doing emails right it really doesn't matter you can go in and add all of those projects to your portfolio the only thing that i do suggest is that if you are focusing more on emails have those email projects first okay so right now we're going to take a look at a portfolio template that we have on codingface.com and i'll show you guys how you would do this so let's say your name is james jackson and this is your portfolio by the way this is a portfolio template on codingface.com that we provide to all of the students now let's say you have a couple of skills you have the skill of a front-end developer a full stack developer you have email development and you have shopify that's like four different categories four different type of jobs that you could apply to how do you go in and lay this out right the way how i would do this is i will go and show the projects of the role that i'm mostly applying to which one is your main focus if my main focus right now is email development right then i'm gonna have all three of these projects to be email development uh, projects and then from there i will showcase my shopify store and i will showcase a uh, full stack application that i did with node.js and react and maybe i'll have a project that i did with laravel now one thing that i want to make sure to do is i want to go in and give this a title explaining you know what type of project it is write a, a little description some type of information in here more about the project itself and then from there we'll have like some of the main keywords for that specific skill so like let's say i will use here uh html css and then i will say clavio this one might say html css mailchimp this one might say litmus and um i don't know testy at right for example for my shopify store i might go in and put in shopify liquid right and here i will go in and write down what type of store it is of course i will put in here uh e-commerce store if it's a full stack application and this is something that's using ai i will mention hey this is node.js react and then from there using the grok uh, api and give more details about what this application actually does and again you will do the same thing for your other project that you might have with laravel but you want to make sure that whatever position is your main role that you're applying to because you could apply to multiple roles but just make sure that you go in and show those type of projects first that way when somebody comes in and let's say you're focusing mostly on email development they'll find those projects here first and then you make it very easy for them to just go in and be like, okay that's his main focus all right another idea that i have for you guys is you could be kim kardashian you could literally be just like kim kardashian but the developer version okay now what do i mean by this right so kim kardashian and a bunch of other influencers and brands and companies are using this new style of having their domains being a link website okay like a link tree i don't know if you guys have heard of that right so it's a site that you use to basically link all of your products your services and all of your social media accounts within that main root domain so when you go to kimkardashian.com it brings you to this site where you have everything that has to do with kim kardashian any type of products or services right or even you know social media accounts she'll have all of those things listed out in here and it's much easier 
to go and tell somebody, hey, go to KimKardashian.com. And then from there, you decide where you want to go. You want to go to the TikTok, you could go through here. You want to go to the X, you could go through here. You want to go to Facebook, you go through here. You want to buy a product, you could go through here. We can do the same thing as developers. Yes, we are developers and we do need a portfolio that looks like this, that breaks down everything that we're doing, all of the skills. But what happens if we want to go in and test this out? Okay. So instead of us having a portfolio that has all of our projects, right? We can go in and separate this by subfolder. We'll have the domain, which is going to link to all of our social media accounts, all of our projects, etc., right? Or our categories of roles that we could apply to. Like, let's say, for example, let's take a look at this one. Let's say this is your photo here. You have all your social media accounts. And then from there you have uh, email developer and you have a thumbnail here that links to the email developer portfolio projects. You have front end developer and you have a link that goes to the front end developer portfolio projects. You have a Shopify developer and you have the links that go to the Shopify portfolio. So let me show you guys this, right? in this diagram you have portfolio main domain https jamesjackson.com and then from there you have the same portfolio right the same portfolio and you have it in each subfolder but the difference is that you're only going to have projects that have to do with front end development in this projects that's for backend in this projects that's for emails and it will be just like that jamesjackson.com slash front end jamesjackson.com slash back end jamesjackson.com slash emails and in there you just catering to those roles that you are applying to remember when you apply to a position they ask you do you have a portfolio there's nothing stopping you from sending somebody to jamesjackson.com slash email or slash front end this way you could actually test this out so as you're applying to jobs you're actually going in and doing this like the professionals do this right like the big companies do this they a b test this you can see which type of roles you're applying to and you're getting more traffic to which ones are actually giving you more interviews and a couple of weeks later whichever one is the one that you say well i'm getting more results with back in development let me focus just on back in development if i'm getting more focus on emails i could just focus on emails or i could just go in and continue applying to every single type of role so it's up to you but at that point now you have data <laughs> all right so again this is what most companies do they all have different layouts and different things and they a b test emails the a b test landing pages you can do the same thing for your portfolio and have your portfolio be pretty much a portfolio link to everything that you do that's just an idea it's up to you to decide you could go in have all of your projects in one or you can have the same theme same portfolio but then now you have it catered to whatever role you're actually applying to it's up to you okay i know it's a little bit more work you're like damn i gotta have three different sites that i gotta basically update no you, once you have the projects you just update the projects that you add to it okay it's the same portfolio you don't gotta add anything new it's just changing a link and changing an image that's it. Voila. You have three different websites for different occasions. Okay. Now, one thing that I want to say to everybody that's watching this, if you do enjoy this type of videos, guys, show me some love. Come to codingphase.com. Come in. This is what we do at Coding Phase. We help you out in this process of learning to code, teaching you the skills, right? Getting you to go in, have a great portfolio, having a great resume, having a job board that you could go in and start applying to jobs directly within the platform. Like literally everything is here on CodingPhase.com to help you out in this process. And again, I want to say thank you to Rafael for actually sending me that question. And if you have any questions and a topic that you want me to answer, go ahead, leave it in the comment sections of my videos, and I will go in and create a dedicated video just for you answering your question. Hopefully this helps some of you guys out. And yeah, you already know, it's your boy Joe. Peace.